Family, how we doing today? This is Chef D Knight with another episode of Funk Up the Flavor. So, I know it's been a while since I posted a video, but I am back. I just want to let everyone know that the event that was hosted by yours truly on January 4th, Date Night Caterer Presents a Magic City Moment in Time, was spectacular so everyone that came out and supported i greatly appreciate it so now that this out of the way listen today i am funking up the flavor with a french classic french onion soup i know right only places uh, i've normally seen french onion soup was at panera um a couple other restaurants you know like um privately owned restaurants but nothing that i've never really seen that uh really i wanted to gravitate to and was been like oh my god i gotta go back and try that so today i'm making french onion soup for the first time for everyone so tune in and i'm gonna show you how to put this french onion soup together welcome back family so i'm gonna run through the ingredients uh for this french onion soup you are definitely going to need wine um so i had a glass or two of wine and I definitely recommend that for your wine for this you get a wine that you like to drink all right so here I've got three quarter cups of butter I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my pot as you can hear we already got some sizzle going because I got my hot my pot already hot so here I've got 10 maybe 12 cups of onions and let me tell you about these onions I've got red onions, I've got green onion, I've got white onion, and I also have uh, some sweet yellow onion in here as well. So I've got three different kinds of onions in there. We've got about 10 cloves of chopped garlic, all right? So to this butter, I'm gonna add all 12 cups of onion. We want this cooking, so this is gonna have to go for about at least 30 minutes until these onions begin to caramelize. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that going. All right, now we're gonna let that cook about 10 minutes or so before we add the 10 cloves of garlic. Now, if you've watched the show before, you know my house seasoning is salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, dried parsley, granulated garlic, and granulated onion. And to this, I also added a little bit of cumin just to add a little bit of smokiness to it. Now here, I've got six tablespoons of fresh chopped herbs. I have four tablespoons of fresh chopped oregano and two tablespoons of fresh chopped uh, thyme. So that's gonna go in there real nice. Now, if you don't like to use fresh herbs or don't have it available, you can use dried herbs. So just cut that in half. You wanna go two tablespoons of each if you do that. Now, here's a cup and a half of Cabernet Sauvignon. Now, you can use any red wine that you like to drink. Do not use a sweet red wine. Highly recommend a Merlot or a Cabernet because they're on the drier side and that's what you want for uh, French onion soup. Now, here's a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. And then here in this bowl, I've got 10 cups of beef broth. Now for this beef broth, what I did, as you guys know, I like to use uh, bait, beef base or chicken base instead of buying the actual broth. Uh, so I decided to try a new one. Uh, I found this at Walmart. And so uh, it mixed up pretty nicely. Uh, it's basically one teaspoon for every eight ounces of water. So there's eight teaspoons in there. I'm sorry, there's 10 teaspoons in there with 10 cups of water. And that's gonna go in the, um, French onion soup mix here a little later. So once I cook these onions down, uh, these one you want to let these go for literally about 35 to 40 minutes uh, until they start to caramelize. So I'm gonna let these go a few more minutes, and then to this, I'm gonna add my seasoning and my fresh herb mix. So I'll be back to show you guys what that looks. Like. All right, family, this has uh, been going. Uh, my onions have been cooking for about. Uh, seven minutes now uh, so to this I'm gonna add the 10 cloves of chopped garlic um, I normally uh, so with this soup what I recommend I've never made it before but I'm just going off of a personal recommendation here um, for every cup of onions go one clove of garlic that's that's kind of the ratio uh, that I'm discovering here so now here are my fresh chopped herbs remember this is um, six tablespoons of fresh chopped herbs 
four tablespoons of oregano and two tablespoons of fresh chopped thyme. And once again, if you don't like to use fresh herbs or don't have them readily available, you can use dried herbs, just go two of each. So anytime you're using fresh herbs, you always wanna double whatever the recipe says. So if it says four tablespoons of thyme, and it's dry time, you wanna go with like six to eight tablespoons of fresh thyme. Cause when you dry those herbs, their flavors actually concentrate. All right, and then here are my six tablespoons of my house seasoning. We're just gonna put that all in there. I know it looks like a lot, but I promise you it's really not. Cause you gotta think to this, I'm also gonna be adding um, a quarter cup of flour later on that has absolutely no seasoning in it. So that's actually gonna help take up some of that uh, seasoning mix that we just put in there. Oh man, I wish I had smell of vision so you guys could really smell this. And, oh man, oh man. All right, so we're gonna let this cook down until these onions uh, start to turn brown. Now this is not a dish that you can walk away from. You will need to stir this dish. Let it sit about four or five minutes, come back and stir. Four to five minutes, come back and stir. The reason is if you don't, your onions will burn. We don't want burned onions. We actually want caramelized onions, which are a very deep brown. And as they begin to brown, they'll actually start to turn sweet. So that's why we're going with the dry wine as well, as opposed to a sweet wine. All right, so once these caramelize, I'll be right back to show you guys what that looks like. All right, family, it's been about uh, 20 minutes or so, and I just wanted to come back really quick and just kind of show you guys um, what your onions should look like um, at this point. Please, please, before I get into showing you what the onion is going to look like or whatnot, just make sure that you keep your heat on like a medium uh, heat. Don't go high on your heat. Going high on your heat is going to burn everything. So you don't want to be any higher than like a medium to a mid-high heat. All right, so your onions, as you can see, uh, we're starting to, uh, let me get some of the steam out of the way. Uh, we're starting to caramelize here. So the red onions are starting to break down. Can't even really tell where the red onions are anymore. Uh, the green is still green. We got the white onions that are starting to kind of turn brown. So this is exactly what we want. So this needs to cook um, until the whole pot of onions is a really deep, dark brown. So once it actually all cooks down and gets that nice brown caramelized color on it, I'm going to come back and show you guys what that looks like. And we're going to compose the rest of the dish. Family, welcome back one more time. So as you can see, these onions have really, really cooked down. They've got that nice, rich brown flavor or brown coloring which means flavor. So that's what you want your onions to look like. You can see how brown that they are. All right, so now we're about to turn the heat up. I'm gonna put the heat on almost on high. Only reason I'm doing that is so I can get a little bit more uh, cook on these onions. And then the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my flour. So I got a quarter cup of flour um, I'm probably not going to use all of the flour. I'm going to add about half, stir it in. And we want to cook this. Like I've said before, nothing worse than the taste of raw flour. If you've ever eaten raw flour, whew, you know it's rough. Yeah, I think I'm going to end up using all the flour. All right. So I got my heat on high. Now stir this while you're doing that. Now the reason I'm putting my, uh, the other reason I'm putting my heat on high is because I'm about to add the wine. So to this, you want a cup and a half of dry red wine. All right, so right here, I've got a Cabernet Sauvignon. Oh man, y'all should smell this. And it is on high. And we want this to come to a quick boil. So once it comes to a quick boil, that'll go for about maybe two to three minutes. 
on a quick boil and that'll cook out the alcohol we don't want any kids eating this and you know they start talking about mom and daddy why do i feel so tired <laughs> so we want to make sure we cook out all of the uh all of the wine all right so i'm gonna cook the wine out and then uh that's gonna take about maybe two to three minutes and then once i come back i'm gonna add the uh eight cups of beef broth all right and then we're gonna compose this dish shortly after that all right here you go family i have added the beef broth to the soup now listen if you don't want to use chicken broth you can use uh if you don't want to use beef broth i'm sorry you can use chicken broth uh so we're going to let this soup cook for about maybe another 20 25 minutes the only reason we're going to do that is so this soup can actually thicken up it's a little loose for me right now and i actually want some of the moisture to cook out of that soup so once that cooks down i am going to take a, a crustini which is just a fancy way of saying a piece of sliced bread or a slice of a baguette. I'm gonna to top it with some Gruyere cheese. I'm gonna broil it, and then I'm gonna sit it on top of the soup, and I'm gonna enjoy all of that together. So once I compose the complete dish, I'll come back and let you guys see how good it is. All right, family, this is the topping that is gonna go um, on top of my French onion soup. So let me explain to you what I have here. I have some French baguettes that I just sliced on a bias. That means at a really, uh, at about a 45 degree angle to make them look all pretty. Um, so I top them with um, some shredded Gouda cheese, shredded Swiss, and shredded Gruyere cheese. Then on top of that, I put a little fresh cracked pepper and I um, put some fennel seed on top. So just to add a little bit more uh, depth of flavor to this. So I'm gonna place these in my oven on broil uh, for about three to four minutes uh, until the cheese is nice and gooey uh, and melted and we can begin to smell the fennel seed and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and place those in the oven. We're gonna let those go for about, like I said, three to four minutes. And when I come back, we are going to put this soup in. Welcome back, family. I've plated the French onion soup. All right, so here we go. What I did is I basically put about two, maybe three ladles of soup into the bowl, and then I topped that with my cheesy crostini. So that is, you know, the slice of French baguette that I sliced at a 45 degree angle or sliced on a bias, topped with the Gruyere cheese, the Swiss cheese, and the uh, Gouda cheese as well, with some fresh cracked black pepper, and then uh, some crushed fennel seed on top of that just to add another depth of flavor. Now, I also have my wine. And listen, when you talking about wine, I just want to say this before I show the dish. Um, man, drink what you like. Uh, you, you can get a very nice bottle of wine from um, Aldi's for $3. It's called Wink and Owl. Uh, that's what I drink. I love it. It's a really good tasting wine. Or you can go as high. I mean, Yellowtail is a nice uh, wine. Um, OPP, which is a personal uh, brand from Oregon. Twenty dollars a bottle. Really nice uh, um, Pinot Noir. Um, great wine. So I just wanted to let you guys know: drink what you like. Don't nobody care how much it costs. Drink what you like. Um, so all right, let me show you what the dish looks like. Mm. All right, time to taste it. See what the ultimate. See what Chef D Knight has done today. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Cut off a little piece of the bread and cheese and all that good stuff. And I'm going to take a nice little bite here and tell you guys what this is working with. Alright, so I got a little piece of the bread with the cheese and the soup. You can really smell the, uh, the wine flavor. No alcohol, but you can really smell the... The wine coming through, the beef broth. Oh man, let's see what we got. If you don't make this, I'm gonna be mad at you. All right, so listen, the soup was delicious. Um, I love the flavor. The onions really showed up in that. You can taste the caramelized onions. 
You can taste the flavor of the wine, the beef broth. Um, and at the end, you really get the uh, the oregano and the thyme really starts to, to shine through. The oregano adds kind of like some earthiness to it. And then the thyme is going to give you kind of like that little citrus pop um, that I really love in all of my dishes. Uh, so that's kind of like what um, the little bit of a citrus that uh, you'll be looking for there and that. So um, as always, Chef D Knight with another episode of Funk Up the Flavor. Now, before I get out of here, I want to leave you guys with um, some words of encouragement. If you are on the ledge, don't jump. It's not worth it. But if you have mustered up the courage to get on the diving board, jump. Let me tell you the about what jumping really does for you. Um, when you when you actually get out there on that diving board and you actually have mustered up the courage to jump, you have to do it. Now, there's always the fear of the unknown, and I love the unknown. Because the unknown is what actually challenges you. It's the comfort level that offers you no challenge. So you must move outside of your comfort zone to be challenged and outside of your comfort zone to grow. And anytime that there is growth, there's going to be pain. So expect the chaos. Expect the pain. Expect disorder. Expect you to be confused and not to know what to do. But I want you to take an opportunity to take a chance on yourself. Because if you don't take a chance on yourself, no one else will. So family, thank you for tuning in today with Chef D. Knight. And watching another episode of Funk Up the Flavor. And I'll see you next time. Peace.